My name's Chuck Armstrong. I live in Brownsville, Vermont, and I have uh, I grow about uh, 30 acres of uh, vegetables and cover crops. Uh, my main vegetable crops are uh, sweet corn, green beans, winter squash, and peas. And I guess today we're talking about cultivation, and uh, I start off my uh, season by uh, uh, chisel plowing, and then I follow that up with harrowing and uh, field cultivating with a perfected field cultivator. All the crops I plant are uh, pretty large seeded and I can use a Lely weeder on those. Um, and so after I plant, I'll use a Lely weeder before the plant comes up and also after. Um, and a good, good way to judge whether you need the Lely weed is to uh, just run your hands through the soil and if you see a lot of uh, white thread um, seeds germinating, it kind of looks like a sprout salad, then you know you're, you're ready to cultivate. When I'm using the machine uh, on crops that haven't emerged yet, I usually uh, dig up a short section of a row to see what the crop is doing, how far along it is, whether it's close to, how close it is to coming through the surface, and then I'll know how much uh, pressure I want to put down uh, on the tines. And the way I adjust the tines is by raising and lowering the, the whole machine. The, hard, the lower you push it, the more pressure you're going to have on the tines. And uh, as I start down the row, I'll I'll, I'll get them all in the ground and I'll, I'll put it down a little bit and if I feel like I'm starting to pull some crop up then I'll raise it a little bit and uh, you know trying to keep it down hard enough that it's still pulling out the uh, the weeds. Uh, the, the other cultivation techniques I use are uh, some Bezaridis weeders. Um, I'll use the uh, Bezaridis tools and there's uh, a torsion weeder that uh, you can get real close to the plant and it has a springing action so that it will bend away from the plant but it will it'll still kill the weeds but it's less likely to kill the crop plant and, uh, and it has a very minimal amount of hilling so you can do it when the crop is very small and then uh, that there's another tool called a spring hoe that's similar action, but it gives a little bit more healing action. So that's a, it's a little bit more aggressive. So you can come through that uh, on the second time through. Uh, this is a toolbar cultivator. I use it on my corn, beans, and uh, winter squash. I try to use this as soon as I can uh, after the crop is up and uh, just, just big enough for me to get in there. Uh, these are called spiders, and they're, they're a Bezaridis tool. And uh, I've got them set up now so that they're taking soil away from the crop. And you can reverse it so that you can hill up the crop. And uh, supposedly it's a little bit more or less aggressive point, uh, according to which way you point these tines. They have a little bit of a curve to them. If you point them forward, they're supposed to be a little bit more aggressive. And I, I point them to take uh, soil away from the crop when it's small and, uh, and the <clears throat> so that the last tool that comes through, which is, is, is this, get, won't have very much soil that it pushes against the crop in it, so it won't bury it. Uh, and I can, I've got this, these, I've got one on each side of the crop and they, they go just under the soil like that and it'll, and I've got them so that the distance is only, it's about three and a half inches apart. And uh, you use it really similar to a shovel, but it's a little bit more forgiving because it's, it's, it doesn't have a sharp edge here. So it's less likely to cut your crop and it will flex as it's in the soil or flex around a little bit. Uh, so you can get it a little bit closer than you probably could at a regular sharp shovel. Um, and in between, that, that's what I have for the last tool. And in between I have some side knives and uh, it's just to, I'm finding that if I just had the just had the spiders and the and these that that there I was missing some spots, so I just put that in there, to sort of clean it up, and it sort of also levels back out whatever kind of a hilling action that this tool makes. 